But first, the Bolton Red Herring. That's the focus of tonight's angle. I I'm beginning to think I'm just a complete masochist because I was back on Capitol Hill today to sit for the second time in the Senate gallery and observe this travesty of an impeachment trial. While, of course, it was great to hear from the defense team, especially Dershowitz's tour de force constitutional argument, which I just referenced, I walked away even more disgusted over what the Democrat House has done to America. And if it's even possible, I'm more outraged that the four squishy senators in the Republican Party are toying with prolonging this national nightmare. In an utterly predictable turn, the resistance media went gaga when word leaked last night that John Bolton supposedly dropped a bombshell, a leaked secondhand account of his upcoming book. The media was sure that this would alter the course of Trump's impeachment. Bombshell revelations from former National Security Advisor John Bolton. Explosive new details. Bolton bombshell Oof. has just absolutely shaken Washington. A seismic shock. Hit Capitol Hill like a thunderbolt. Republican senators reportedly are feeling blindsided by this. Could change the course of President Trump's impeachment trial. I think this is a game changer. It's always a game changer, right? It's like always a game changer with Trump. We got him now. Well, let me just say one thing. As someone who's actually written five books, working with some of the top publishing houses in the United States as I have, I know how this little game goes. Let me explain it to you. It's all about hype, because publishers have to hype a few choice tidbits in desperate hopes that they're going to make back the advance they probably shouldn't have shelled out in the first place. Nothing that John Bolton writes in a book, or would testify to, frankly, during the Senate trial, changes the basic facts that all 100 senators know. 